Hello traders, FS Perpoletti here. Today is Monday, January 22nd. I'm going to be analyzing the pound dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to that one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the pound dollar, I still think this is an uptrend. I still think we're in a wave three, and I still believe this is going to make a nice five-way pattern to the upside, which eventually will go up, most likely take out these highs. I'm expecting eventually it's going to go up all the way to about the 161% Fibonacci extension, possibly the 150, but definitely someplace up in that area. So let's take it down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, even though it's a little messy, I think there's definitely some clarity here. I think this is a one. Three waves down for the A, three waves up for the B, five waves down for the C. Higher high wave B, higher high wave C compared to the wave A. I think this is very clearly a running flat wave two, and I think we're already in a wave three. And I believe on these higher time frames, it is going to continue to make higher highs, higher lows, eventually making that wave three, four, and five, just like I was sewing on the monthly time frame. Taking it down to the daily. On the daily, we really do already have one, two, three ways down. And since we are in an uptrend, I mean, there's always a possibility this could keep going up. I was actually thinking that it would actually continue to drift down, maybe even all the way down to like the 50% or the 38% Fibonacci before it actually continued up. Plus, we have interest rate for the dollar coming out next week on January 31st, which is when I actually think this is going to end the correction and most likely continue the uptrend. So taking it down to the 4-hour time frame. On the 4-hour time frame, I mean, it looks very overlapping, very corrective. But I think there is a possibility it is the end of a correction. Now, like I was saying on the daily, we have to keep in mind that if it does go down and either make a lower high, then that would definitely turn me into a seller. Or if it goes down and breaks structure to the downside, that's definitely going to turn me into a seller. But right now, I definitely am primarily looking for longs. I think there's a possibility this is the end of a correction. And if this just keeps on making higher highs, higher lows, we don't want to be trying to go short at the end of every, you know, push down. But instead, we prefer to look for longs at the end of pullbacks for the continuation of the uptrend. And at least until we have some evidence that this move up really is a correction to the move down, which we definitely don't have yet. So keeping that in mind, going down to the one hour time frame, I mean, it definitely ha looks like a crutch, and I have it marked as an ABCDE. But like I was saying, I think there's more, uh, probably a better possibility this is going to make another higher low, another higher low, and just keep on going up. You know, it may keep on bouncing off FIB levels, but as long as it doesn't break structure or make a lower high on like the four hour time frame mains, I would for sure continue to look for longs because this could just keep on trending up. And if it does, we don't want to keep trying to go short at every Fibonacci level and losing, but instead we should be looking for longs. At the end of pullbacks, at least until we have some sort of evidence that this really is a correction and that the market really is going back down. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.